one one year, pre-COVID, like 2019, I had a clinic every day the month of June. So 30 in a row. With the exception of June 21st, because that's the longest day of the year and I wanted to skydive all day. Um, so 29 camps, right? So so I do a lot of camps this summer and I usually play that game. Nothing's ever gone wrong before. I'm in this camp in Indiana, and I probably should not tell the story, but whatever. And there's this one kid, his name was like, what's like the nerdiest name you could ever think of? Daniel. No, Daniel's not nerdy, that's normal. <laughs> yeah, that's the normal name, I don't know what he's talking about. It was like, it was like, Seymour, it was like Seymour or something like that. All right, it was like the craziest name. All right, yeah, it was like a, a, a little kid Karen. So listen, so uh, Seymour, Seymour, was a pretty unathletic little kid. All right, he was about like 11 years old, didn't really know how to wrestle, and we're playing. And it was the time where uh, I, I used to start kids like end of the mat, and they would just charge, right? Like, and it was just really scary. And again, I've done like 30 camps a summer, nothing's gone wrong yet. And this little Seymour, he just didn't know how to do it right, right? And that's why I say, hey, never have a straight arm, and don't leave with your head, because I don't want people to get hurt. So, Seymour decides he's gonna charge in as unathletically as possible. When I say unathletic, he was like, I was like Galvan, right to the center. I called a couple of numbers, he's in the mix, they're wrestling, fighting for the ball, all of a sudden, one of the guys gets it, brings it out, and wins. Seymour is kind of laying there like this, he's like, he's like this. He's like, ow, he's not crying, he's just like, ow, this hurts, this hurts, right? And he lifts his arm up, like, <laughs> he lifts his arm up like this, and like, looks at it, and you guys ever, uh, you guys ever took a pencil at school, and you did the, like, the, Thing for you, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> it was like he lifted his arm up and it was like straight and then straight. And, I, and he, like, this is what he did. He's like, finding it. Oh man, that hurts. He's like, ah! and he started like screaming at his arm. It was like completely, and it was like, it scared me for the rest of my life to play that game. So now I play like really close when we play it, and you're not allowed to like collide, which is way better. But I felt so bad because the mom comes over to me and she was like, hey, it's okay, but yeah. It's his first day of summer school ended yesterday. I felt so bad. Yeah. So, no, not summer school. No, no, no. But yeah, that's why when we do those games, be super careful. Be super careful. Um, don't be, don't be who? Don't be a Seymour. All right. We don't want to be Seymour. Or Patricia. Or Patricia. Who's Patricia? I'm scary. I'm pretty sure that. All right. Listen up. Shut up. So, hey. So we're gonna change gears a little bit. Um. We've been doing head outside high crotch uh, to our feet. We're gonna move and transition to crack down. Who knows what crack down means? Obviously the big guys. Any little guys know what crack down means? Wolverine, don't make those sounds. Anybody know what crack down means? Crack down is a head outside high crotch and your partner sits to his butt. So I'm on the legs, and so I'm on this leg and he's on his butt like this. Make sense? Now, I, I want you guys to understand, we don't force crack down. Crackdown is not a force move. So crackdown is a, uh-oh, I accidentally ended up here because wrestling happens. That's what that means. It's a 30-second takedown versus getting to my feet, which is like a five-second takedown, okay? But nonetheless, we have to know how to finish crackdown. So I'm going to teach you. Probably my favorite move that I show is on the butt and he's facing me. Now, the most important part of crackdown is my shoulder. Everybody grab your leg where your pocket would be if you're wearing a pair of jeans. It's not on the outside. It kind of like curves to like the top or the inside, right? So, that's where my, hey, shush. That's where my shoulder is gonna go. My shoulder's gonna go in his front pocket. Okay, so kind of look down just like, see? If my shoulder's out like this, does everybody see? He starts to scoop the corner, no good. Now rewind. So I want my shoulder to be where? in his front pocket, it's buried like this, and my ear is next to his hip. It's tight. I'm not spaced with my chest. My chest is on his legs, my shoulder's in his pocket, my ear is next to his hip. This is a good crackdown. Guys, I need you to try and stop talking, okay, over there? This is a good crackdown. Now, here's what the move is. My leg hand, the hand that's on his leg, 
is going to grab his wrist, just like this. Usually, they post or they start to grow underneath their stomach like this, exactly. So my leg hand is going to grab his wrist like this. The free hand is going to back hook his arm and grab my own wrist. Do you guys see how I kind of have a key lock right now, a Kimura? Yeah. Leg hand grabs what? Yes. Whose wrist? Yes. His wrist. Back hook hand grabs what? Your like wrist. Like this? No. no I oh, hook oh, the yeah. arm. Hook the arm. Grab my own wrist. Now, I'm going to roll to my left. And as I roll to my left, I'm going to do three things at once. The first thing I'm going to do is sit my butt into the mat. The second thing I do, I'm going to sit my chest up to my knees as hard as I can. And the third thing I do is I'm going to hug the leg as tight to my chest as possible. So I roll, I sit, chest to knees, and I'm hugging the leg as tight as possible. Now, from here, you can hook the leg, you can point to his girlfriend, you can throw gang signs, what's up, baby, right? I'm pinning your boy, you can do whatever you want, okay? Now, the reason that it's so important to, uh, to sit my butt in the mat is because if my butt is off the mat, he kind of like has some, some play to roll through, and we end up in a 50-50, and here's what it looks like. So we'll go slow motion. I hook, I do everything right. My butt is up, and he rolls across his back, right, to here. Now I might still finish here, right, double off and whatnot, but it gives him a chance, right, and I don't get to fall. So I've wrestled a lot of guys uh, in college, and, and, and I've hit this uh, on some pretty high level guys. Remember that term we, we had earlier, high percentage moves and low percentage moves? What would this one probably be considered? It'd probably more be low. But guess what? It's a low percentage move that I've hit on three NCAA champions, right? So that goes to show you that if you do something well enough and long enough and you're good enough in the position, it doesn't matter if it's a cheap junior high move. You hit it on really good guys. If you're good enough at it, how do you get good enough at something? Practice. Right, yeah, you gotta put the time in. Right, gotta put the time in. Um, okay, one more time. Uh, notice, I never have the lock far from my chest like this where the leg is kind of beating my arms. Where's my lock? At my chest. At my chest, good job. At my chest, but I want it tight. Also, I don't want my back opened up like this. I say sit your chest to your thighs because you're actually not going to be able to do that. But I want your, your core flexed like this. Right? Well, obviously, you can't sit all the way up, right? But flex your core. You should be sitting up where his butt is not facing the wall, it's facing the ceiling. I want it like this, right? You see what I mean? The leg hand grabs his wrist, back hand grabs my wrist. Now, a lot of you guys will start like this. If the arm's ever in front of your arm, you can kind of just like fireman this up, right? You don't have to do my move. This is if he's draping over you like this, right? You see how he's draping over my body? So then I start to hook, right? And if he's locked like this, that's cool. I start to ugh, fight, fight, my hand in there. Oh, I got it. Make sense? Now, leg hand grabs his wrist. Back hook hand has my arm wrist. I roll, sit my butt in the mat, chest to my knees, and I hug the leg. I'm sitting. I'm not like this. See this? This is no good, right? I sit. Make sense? Hook. Most important part, what do I do? Point to his girlfriend and celebrate. What's up, baby? Give a little flex. Give a little wink. Good to go. Cool?